In this video, I will show you how to route audio from a software instrument into Zoom while still being able to hear it through your headphones. It was brought to my attention in a comment of my previous video that there isn't a very intuitive way to do this. After some noodling around, I finally figured out a fairly simple but not obvious way to make this happen. First, you want to open up Audio MIDI Setup and create a new aggregate device with this little plus sign in the lower left hand corner. I already have mine set up. You want to check built in output or your headphones and Soundflower, which allows you to route audio back into itself. Now, Soundflower is a program that allows you to, to route a computer's audio back into itself, as I just mentioned. And if you don't have it, I will put a link to that in the description below. It's um, open source, so I'll put a, um, an article from CNET about you know, what it is, so that way you're, you're sure that it's legit and that's something you want in your computer. Now you can see here that input channels one and two and output channels three and four are Soundflower, but output channels one and two are the built-in output. We wanna keep this in mind when we set up our software instrument in Logic. So we'll go into Logic, create a new track, and then if you don't see aggregate device here in the device, click this arrow and then select from the drop down list to make sure it says aggregate device and then your input device should be whatever it needs to be. If you've made any changes, click apply changes and then close out of preferences and create your new track. So from here, we wanna create a new send. So the output is already going to your headphones but it won't go into Soundflower because the output, the stereo output is output one and two. So we'll go here, output, stereo, three and four. And now if you remember from the audio MIDI, audio MIDI setup window, that output three and four was the Soundflower output. And the part that took me the longest to figure out was this volume knob. It's a little tricky to see, but drag that up until it's around zero. And then here, we can see now that output three and four is um, up on the mixer, that the audio from my microphone anyway is coming through both. And then it'll also come through both with the software instrument. It comes through both just fine. And from here, we'll go to our zoom settings. You wanna make sure the microphone is the aggregate device and your headphones are the, the speaker. And then here we can see that my, the microphone is coming through a, a little bit, but the software instrument comes through loud and clear. And if you wanna test that to make sure everything is working as it should, mute the stereo output and output three and four one at a time. Uh, I won't do that now because when I out mute output three and four, the microphone cuts out in the video. So when you, out when you mute the stereo output, you'll still see the signal coming through in Zoom, but you won't hear it in your headphones. And when you mute output three and four, you'll hear it in your headphones, but you won't see the input coming through in Zoom. Now I hope this has answered your questions about all this. If you have any more, feel free to leave a comment below and I will do my best to answer it.